now let's take a room and we're gonna duplicate this room move it over and create a little hallway in between also I wanna say one thing about um, building maps inside um, hammer source is when you build your rooms you never ever 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 want to have any gaps so things like this are extremely bad and you never want to have a gap into the void into the blackness out here into the black hole um, you want to keep all of your geometry um, all of your rooms everything your whole world should be inside and closed in that is why using the grid snap is extremely important and um, if you do have gaps like this or even tinier that what usually happens is uh, you know you're able to spot bigger gaps but if it's a little small gaps then uh, what that creates is a leak and it's basically an error and uh, I'll go into detail a little later about leaks and uh, how to fix them but you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, holes into the uh, the big black void and uh, so also I want to point out I just discovered that if this character if I move his eyes are following me as I ma as we map and that's kinda freaky anyway let's move on um, also this gray look is kinda bothering me so I want to apply different developer texture and you may want to apply different developer texture as well and the way you do that is you select this uh, texture little icon here it looks like a UV grid and then you hit browse and select the texture that you want and then the right mouse button on the surface applies it and if you hit the left mouse button it selects that texture and if you want to apply this texture you just uh, hit the right mouse button left mouse button right mouse button and if you hit if you hold down shift as you do that it applies it to all the faces around so if I hit this and I want to apply it to the uh, to this wall but it does not apply to the the rest of the faces but if I select press shift right mouse button it, apply, it applies to all of the single faces around on, on that brush so let's duplicate our room into exact uh, same room across and then we're gonna build the hallway in between and the way you do that you wanna select each individual brush um, on here and all of them and you do that by holding down control and shift and select all the faces go into the top view shift drag and we have our and looks like I forgot a little face in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna repeat the whole function again so no worries you can just redo the whole thing again shift shift Z shift Z into here shift drag and we have our uh, second room Yep, same identical room. Now let's build our uh, hallway. And the way you do that is we're gonna use the same walls and everything else. So let's build our doorways first. So what I'm gonna do is create a doorway in here and the doorway's width is 48 units. So first one I, I wanna do is I, I start dragging these walls out and let's create a 48 units. Uh, doorway and let's drag this back out so what I just did here I just created three different walls because this is going to be our um, this is going to be our doorway so I just needed the template to know uh, where to resize the rest of the walls at now what I want to do is we need uh, the height of the doorway is 108 units for the interior for the inside so what I want to do is create this that's 108 units um, tall and 
I'm unable to do that with this grid, so I'm just gonna scale the grid down 108 units. And then I'm gonna just shift and drag to duplicate the top. Shift, now I have four units here. I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna delete it. Now we have our doorway. And now we wanna do the same thing on this room. But instead of just doing what I just did, I'm just gonna duplicate what I have and move it over. So I'm gonna delete this wall. Just select your brush and just hit delete. And I'm gonna select these brushes. I'm gonna put my uh, grid back to uh, 16. This is very important because you don't want to have any leaks. You want to stay on grid as, as often as possible until you are adding details. And now I have my second doorway. So let's build our floor, our ceiling, and our walls for the hallway. I'm gonna just uh, select select our floor, shift drag, drag it over, and just scale it down. I, w I want my hallway to be a little wider than my doorways because you know all walls don't start at a at a door frame. And I want to extend this out a bit more. Now let's go up to the side and drag and create a ceiling. And then let's create our walls. When I use this wall, I'm going to just select shift drag, scale it down, and drag it across. Check my perspective. Everything's looking good. And take this and duplicate this all the way across. And now we have a hallway and uh, two doorways. And that's how you connect the room, rooms together.